these aren't just any worms. They're nature's recycling machines, turning your leftover goodies into black gold. Through the magic of vermicasting, these worms devour your organic material, churning them into nutrient-rich, dark, and crumbly castings. It's like a worm alchemy, transforming kitchen scraps into a gardener's dream come true. Welcome to another pursuit, and this is the Pursuit of Coconuts. Last year, we had the incredible opportunity to meet Joel, the proud owner of a small duck farm nestled in the heart of Batuan, Bohol, Philippines. Today, we're back to revisit our friend Joel, not for another blue challenge this time, but Joel is taking us on an exciting adventure to a Vermicast cooperative. First things first, what exactly is vermicast? Vermicast, also known as worm castings, is the rich, nutrient-packed organic material produced by earthworms as they digest organic matter. It's like nature's own fertilizer. This is perfect size for I'm doing yeah. aquaponics. Yeah. Yummy. Perfect yeah, size, huh? It's so small. They're, or they're not small, they're skinny. Yeah, they're skinny. It's perfect mm -hmm. size. Yeah. You could you could grow this for tilapia. Some people do feed it, but so how long does it take to break down this, the to turn into the vermicast? Feel like I'm not gonna. One week, one week. Wow, that's fast. It involves a series of steps before reaching and benefiting the planted crops. The five steps include vermi bed preparation and sanitation, substrate application, stocking of earthworms worm feeding, and vermicast harvesting. difference in our climate, the Philippines uses a different breed of composting worms altogether. They use the African nightcrawler. To the dismay of most, the usual red wrigglers or tiger worms aren't used for vermicomposting in the Philippines. However, the African nightcrawler worm is not an inferior breed by any measure. In fact, the African nightcrawlers are much more heat tolerant than the red wrigglers. At the same time, African nightcrawlers can grow over twice as large as tiger worms, which means they eat a lot and more ferociously than the other worms. Farmers who cultivate both breeds claim that African nightcrawlers eat about 70% more waste per kilo than the red wiggler. Compared to chemical fertilizers and conventional compost used by farmers, the vermicast restores and enhances the natural soil fertility by increasing the physical, chemical, and biological properties without degrading the soil in the long run due to harmful chemical effects. Further, the vermicast improves the quality of harvest in four to six weeks as compared to eight to 12 weeks for conventional compost. After our visit to the Vermicast Cooperative Farm, we returned to Joelle's farm for some well-deserved relaxation and fun. Even though the ducks are no longer here, the familiarity of the place still warms our heart and just feels so good to be back. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty big. That's Whoa. heavy. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
gathered around the grill, we sizzled up some delicious pork and the freshest tilapia you can imagine, fresh caught from his pond. It's more than just a meal, it's a true farm to table experience. With the taste of fresh tilapia and good food and surrounded by friendships, this is just a reminder of how simple the joys of life can be, especially on a farm. It's good to be back here, surrounded by good friends, good sights, and good food. Back at Isla Eden, our aquaponic farm, we've taken a significant step. We've set up our own vermicasting bed here, and there's a fantastic reason behind it. These little helpers are going to work their magic, create some very good vermi tea, which is gonna be a natural and organic fertilizer that is perfect for the aquaponic farm system and the plants that we grow in it. It's all about sustainability and creating a closed loop system right here on Isla Eden. We are thrilled to see the impact that we will have and also the turnout of our crops. Everything starts with the first step and even though this farm is amazingly beautiful, large. We started with just the first step of entering the knowledge, finding out about things and adding things slowly. The vermicasting wasn't in, even in the plans, but we realized the value of the vermicast tea and the worms in the system and how it would even survive. I had questions if worms could even survive under the water for so long, and they do. And so everything starts with the first step, being curious and not being afraid. So I encourage you all to take that first step into sustainability if you haven't already. And if you have, dive deeper one step at a time and join us on this pursuit, the pursuit of coconuts, as we look to empower low-income farmers here in the Philippines, but also create some really cool projects, um, including the simple one of Vermicast. So thank you guys for following. We'll see you on the next one. Follow us on Patreon to get more in-depth about the business of the farm and the background of everything. But we'll see you on the next one, on the next adventure, on the next cookout, on the next build, on the next update. Thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and you've gotten this far in the video. We appreciate you. Peace.